I'm Hal Haddock. I'm from Damascus, Georgia. I'm a board member with the Georgia Soil and Water State Board. Uh, I'm a farmer. I'm also a forester. I graduated from Forester School, University of Georgia. I, I first met with Sandy uh, on the phone about some small creeks that had problems with endangered species. And so I went to farmers to try to tell them, please don't dry up this creek just so we can keep the mussels and I think we were successful but the drought just about defeated all we try all we had done and so this is the worst I've ever seen in my lifetime. Springs are totally dry, the ground cracked open and they're just beginning to show a little flow right now. This, But then I've got one pond on my property that's 500 acres that doesn't have a drop of water in it yet and I've never seen it like that. The water in Spring Creek that the endangered mussels depend on to survive is dwindling, and the droughts of the past decade has made matters worse. Spring Creek contains one of the best and last populations of these endangered mussels. Um, this past year, the beginning of this past year, stretches of Spring Creek started to dry, and we were concerned that these mussels would be dead by the end of the year. Mussels can be related to the canaries of the coal mines. If the mussels start to die, we need to look at the water quality. There is an issue and something is wrong. And we use this water as a drinking source. So um, it's, important, it's important to us to know about, how about the water quality that it is for the mussels. I'm Newton Cloud, Program Manager for Spring Creek Watershed Partnership. The Spring Creek Watershed Partnership is a combination of stakeholders, landowners, cities, municipalities in the six county area that is for the protection of the Spring Creek watershed. It requests Golden Triangle RC and D back in June of 2011. We as a partnership voted to set aside $85,000 in conjunction with monies set aside by U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to produce an, a sustainable habitat project for Spring Creek. So there's a stream gauge down on the creek operated by the United States Geological Survey. When that gauge reads one foot, we're gonna, that's when we're going to turn the pumps on. And we've got the pumps uh, built so that we can turn them on via the internet from wherever I happen to be. I'm, I'm the one that's charged with turning them on. So I read the gauge, the gauge gets to one foot, we activate the pumps, and that's how it works. This is the discharge line that goes from the wells to the, uh, down to the creek. There's about 1,200 feet of this 6-inch flat PVC hose. And uh, we're going to put this down in the uh, early summer, assuming that it's dry. And then about this time of year, irrigation shut off and everything, we'll be able to take it up and store it, and hopefully we'll get a little bit of uh, longer life out of it than just leaving it out here full time. This is not a permanent solution. This project is just to keep this section of the creek wet in order to keep these mussels alive until a more permanent solution can be found. And I think all of us in agriculture will try to chip in and help because there's quite a few irrigation systems along the creek from one end to the other from right here. And I don't know any farmer that wouldn't be of benefit to us for something like that.